Hey, Maximo TV, I'm Erica Rhodes here at Station Hollywood, where Amber Lancaster is hosting a night of beauty and music benefiting the relief efforts of Japan. Stay tuned as we see who shows up and the interviews that we get on the red carpet. You're watching Maximo TV. Nice to meet you. You look absolutely gorgeous tonight. Thank you. So this is such a huge event for you. Really exciting! I'm so excited to see everybody. You have so many people coming to show up. How does that make you feel? I, I, I mean, I feel honored to, um, you know, be involved with such a such an event. But it feels really cool to know that there's so many people out here willing to lend their support as well. So, can you tell us a little bit more about this event um, and what it really means to you? Um, well, there's there's various uh, products inside and brands that are um, all here to, to sell and. Um, hopefully generate some business and all the proceeds are going to go to help um, the, the relief efforts in Japan. The hard times of RJ Burger. You're in the second season, so tell us more about that. Um, well, we're on our sixth episode right now. Um, the next episode actually is going to feature um, a performance by Weezer, which is really exciting. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Weezer, so that's awesome. Um, we also had a, a Vinny from Jersey Shore who guest starred in the in the uh, second episode, so it's been it's been really fun season this year. Um, it's been awesome because everyone's characters have gotten to uh, grow a lot more, and you've gotten to see a lot more different sides of um, each character. And um, yeah, I'm having fun with it. I love it. You play the mother on the Hard Times of R.J. Berger. I play the naughty mother on the Hard Times. I heard you're having an affair with Coach. <laughs> How did that happen? very sexy and he fell in love at first sight with my breasts okay. yeah that's how it happened we went into RJ was having some trouble in school mr. Berger I divorced mr. Berger because he'd been lying to me for several years and uh, we went in for a, a, a school counselor meeting about RJ's grades and coach was mesmerized by my cleavage and flirted with me <laughs> cut to my cleavage and flirted with me and was a gentleman. And I said, well, thank you, Coach and Claire. It's nice to know there's still some gentlemen left around. He said, I was a 40s broad. And then he said, please call me Jeriba. And I said, Jeriba. And the rest is history. Yes. So, go down, baby, it's going to go down. You are the reason behind the hard times of R.J. Berger. <laughs> I hear. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little double entendre. Uh, uh, yeah, but only starting this season. I'm uh, I end up having a thing with the... Uh, his mom. Right. So they got a, uh, they did a, uh, let out a sneak peek a couple of minutes on the, on the internet. I just saw it today. So yeah, I make his life a little, a little bit more worse than it. And you play the coach on the show. I do. I do. I'm the coach and uh, guidance counselor and mentor and trouble in his life. I'm like the, 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 the catalyst for everything that goes wrong in his life. And I give him the worst advice on the planet. And I enjoy every minute of it. It's always good to support a charity, and this is a very, very important one with all the people that are suffering in Japan, so I'm really happy, happy to be doing my part. So what do you have on your plate right now, acting-wise? Well, I um, started a production company, and we're busy producing our first film called Love Orchard, which is about the immigration crisis in America based on a true story, so it's a very important, timely film. Now, production, is that, I mean, that's a step forward in your career, right? You've been mostly on the front side of the camera. Exactly, yeah. I've actually produced two other films, and I co produced a series I did on the Sci-Fi channel called Painkiller Jane. But this is my own company, so this is the first film with my own company, yeah. You've just come over from Germany, made it big time over there, and you're making the transition to America. How is that going for you? Um, it's definitely uh, not easy thing to do especially like leaving everything behind over there but then again you only live once you want to do it all you want to try it all you want to live your life and so far we're just enjoying LA life and we're working really hard and you all are going to be working with the producer from the Black Eyed Peas right? Told you that. <laughs> That's really awesome. Yes it's amazing that was we were like I think that was the most we were so nervous, that was so amazing, and 
to get like such a kind of chance. I think when we flew out here, we never thought about that. And then you have this opportunity. It's like, okay, now we definitely yeah. go for it. Yes. Yeah. Well, I just came here to LA. I moved from Germany, um, and I'm promoting my new movie, which is coming out all over the world this summer. It's a horror movie. It's a zombie movie. I'm actually playing an American soldier, and the whole time setting, everything is in the 50s. Like our wardrobe is the 50s. Our hairstyle is 50s. And it's never been done before. And it's a B movie. It's an indie movie. But um, the reviews are great. It's coming out in September. So it's called Zombies from Outer Space. So you should just Google it and look for it. And it's going to, I think it's going to be a big hit. You are Teddy's new love interest in this season of 90210. Can you talk about that experience and how the season is going so far? It's going great. I mean, it's been a great experience. Everyone is so nice on set, so it's a lot of fun when you go to work. And uh, we're getting a lot of good reviews. I mean, our relationship is very mature, and we're having a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, it's, it's working out well. You've been in Fanboy. You've been in The Perfect Gentleman. How were those experiences? Um, well, I started acting when I was a child. I started on a show called Zabumafu, which is still on in syndication. And so I worked throughout my childhood and then took time off to go to film school. And now I'm going back into acting, so it's really exciting to work on films after being in film school where I was behind the scenes because you have so much more of an understanding of what everyone else is doing on set. And I'm also in pre-production on a film that I wrote and I'm acting in, so it's nice. I kind of I do acting and I also work on my own films as well, so you can you know feel empowered to, to do your own thing, which I love. Can you tell us about your time on Entourage? Oh, I had a blast. I was playing girlfriend of Bob Saget, and, uh, and lot, many people remember that uh, scene. Um, it was a great experience. Bob was such a gentleman. I always say, if I was single, I would totally date him if he, if he was interested. And it was funny because I was doing my national tour around the United States, as he was touring as well. So he was talking about me. I heard on the radio, and then I was talking about him on the radio. It was kind of funny because it was happening at the same time. But yeah, I love Entourage. You know, it's 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 a great show. So I had a blast. I always do. I've opened up for um, a bunch of people, Justin B. Selena Gomez, Sean Kingston. It's been a great ride and I'm excited to continue on the journey. I'm going to have a single coming out sometime this summer. What kind of sound? I would say a cross between Neo, Justin Timberlake, that kind of vibe. Yeah, I got a film called F Plus. Uh, we're shooting it this summer and it's going to be very funny. What's it about? It's about the, the the public school system, kind of, and how it's not so great, and they make it kind of funny, and it's a dark comedy kind of thing. And I play a I play a high school student. <laughs> Why are you smiling? Because uh, you'll just have to watch and find out. <laughs> Right now, I'm doing focusing on a lot of my artwork. Um, I just painted a picture um, on canvas for the Japan Disaster Relief, and I auctioned it off. Uh, and 100% of the proceeds went to the Japan Disaster Relief. So that's done and over with now. I might do another one, uh, but I'm here to support the same cause that, that they're doing because it's a, it's a big cause. So I got this film called um, Map Head, um, and I got a film called Class. I, ex I associate produced both of them. And um, I'm actually I'm going to Con uh, Film Festival in two weeks for that. So for both films, yeah. And I got like four other projects, um, some films, some music videos that I produce. I produce and I act, so I work on both sides of the angle, yeah. You play the nurse on Glee. Do you think that your character will come back on the show? I have no idea. And I went presumptuous enough to say yes, but I could, I could hope for it, and I'll hope really strongly. It was a really good time. I had... I had a great time that um, in that storyline and with those those two actors that I got to meet, they were exceptional. So I had, I had a lot of fun. You're a pop recording artist. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about your sound and what we can expect from you as an artist? Absolutely. Um, I do pop music, but it's varied. There's a little bit of rock, a little bit of urban R&B, some electro dance. So I like to blend everything together to give it kind of a more all across the board sort of sounds and I, I kind of have ADD <laughs> so I get bored easily so I like to mix it up. When is your album coming out? July. <laughs> We're just finishing up the last couple of songs right now. I want to make sure that they're, you know, I'm a bit of a perfectionist so. Hi, I'm Kate Mancy from Days of Our Lives. 
So tell us a little bit about your character on Days of Our Lives. My character's name is Abigail Devereaux, and she's a little bit feisty, a little bit sassy. She just got home from studying abroad, and um, she's, uh, she's struggling with the growing pains of becoming a woman from being a girl, so. Um, we're here just um, supporting, you know, and raising awareness for Japan, and I'm here with my Miss New Hampshire Teen USA. She's getting ready to go off to Miss Teen USA, so this is her first, like, real big red carpeted event, so we're just out having a lot of fun tonight. This is Katie Reed. <laughs> nice to meet you. Congratulations on getting Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited. I'm ready for it. <laughs> So what does that mean? Like the next competition, what do you have to do to get ready for that? The next competition is the Miss Teen USA competition, and it's everything. It's a, it's a long process. Get to evening gown. Yeah. It's owned by Donald Trump. You're going to the Bahamas. Yeah. She's going to, uh, you know, hopefully bring it home. She's one of our new states. Um, my partner Keith and I own Miss California, and we just obtained Miss New Hampshire, and we're so blessed and happy to have Annie.